guys uh, been a while since I've made a video I know y'all are just dying to see another one but uh, been very busy the last couple of weeks uh, a friend of mine at work co-worker his father had been in town from Mexico and had passed away and that had uh, had him cremated so they he wanted me to take him and his family out uh, in the Gulf so they could spread his ashes so I did that a couple of Saturdays ago and then uh, that Sunday went snapper fishing with some buddies of mine caught a few snappers I'll, I'll try to post some pictures uh, so it was very busy and then I uh, left uh, that Friday on a cruise out of New Orleans so was gone on that for five days and then we spent a couple of days in New Orleans with friends there looking around town so just got back yesterday or, and trying to get back into things uh, uh, as you can see, I've got a few little projects going on. One of my goals this week is try to get those fuel tanks out. And you'll see later on in the video uh, my plan for that. Uh, so, But weather may not allow me to do that. It's 70-80% chance of rain the rest of the week. So that may hinder me. And plus I'll have to have some help. I want to pull the boat around. I'll probably remove the outriggers so it'll be easier to get under the tree limbs that I've grown out. Uh, but uh, so I want to pull it around to the bank and get those fuel tanks set out on the trailer so I can get them out and check the fuel tanks out and make sure I get them good and clean also I want to paint that inner bottom and possibly rewire everything in the rear end and just see what we got going on there before we seal it up so I'm trying to get all that done and get that floor back in as quick as I can because right now it's just open to the elements and I'm not happy with that but it is what it is so I hope you enjoy my videos. I am definitely not a video photographer, editor, and I am definitely not a boat repairman. I'm making it up as I go. And like I said, I be Google's my friend and talking to other people that's done it before and watching what they've done. So, all right, well, I'll quit rambling on and uh, you can see what I've got going on today and what I did uh, last couple of days. So, all right, guys. Alright guys, this right here we're going to show you later on in the video what we got here and what we're going to use it for. And this is uh, coming up later in the video. Alright, All right, let's get them open. Contents of box one, here comes box two, let's see what we have here. Where I ordered it from. Another magazine. A bill. Some nice stickers. Another sales catalog. tell what it is yet all right drill a drain hole
off the lows to get some three and a half inch bolts. I think I'll go up one size from this. So this is what I'm using. I'm using a uh, bolt up top. That's going through the frame. This goes on. And then that. And then this Teflon nut. Short of me one nut, bolt, and lock work. So here's the plan. I'm going to bring the boat over here. I um, may have to dig out some of that grass. Back it up to here. May have to add on to that boom, make it a little longer. Get a cheater pipe put in it. And uh, lift the tanks there. And roll one up on the front. And then come back and pull the other one and roll it up there. And Hopefully uh, this will work. We'll probably uh, back a pickup here and another one over here so I can tie the boat off. And hopefully uh, this plan will work. So I got this little crane from Jigs Cranes. I think I paid $140 complete shipping and everything. And um, it'll come in handy for other things, not only this project. So that's it. So hopefully uh, next weekend there will be a video of us actually pulling the tanks out and putting them on the trailer. So let me know your thoughts and uh, subscribe and share my videos. Thank you.